Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do simple conversions of different types of concentrations to milligram per milliliter. We'll look at person strength, more specifically percent weight in volume, ratio strength, and also grams per liter, and how to convert those to milligram per milliliter. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. First, let's look at person strength and how to convert that to milligram per milliliter. We'll look more specifically at percent weight in volume. Now, if you're interested in learning more about percent weight in volume, I have a video on that topic and I'll link it in the description box below. So let's look at a problem. Convert 4% weight in volume to milligram per ml. Now, if you know that 4% weight in volume equals 4 grams over 100 ml. Again, if that sounds confusing to you, check my video on percent weight in volume. 4 grams over 100 ml. Now, you need to convert that to milligram per ml. The bottom number is already in ml, which is good. The top number is in gram. We need to convert that to milligram. So how do you convert four grams to milligrams? Well, you know one gram equal a thousand milligram. So that means four gram is equal to 4,000 milligrams. So now you'll have 4,000 milligrams over 100 ml and when you divide them, your final answer will be 40 milligram over 40 milligram per ml. Okay, um, those conversions will be very important. Um, you'll come across them often when solving pharmaceutical calculation problems. Next, let's look at ratio strength and how to convert that to milligram per ml. Ratio strength, when we look at ratio strength, usually it is um, expressed as one, two, and then another number. So the first number is usually a one. So one to two, one to 20. Um, let's look at this example. Convert one to 10,000 weight in volume to milligram per ml. So the one to 10,000 can also be written as one gram over 10,000 ml. So the bottom number is already in ml. The top number is in gram. We have to convert one gram to milligram. So one gram we know is equal to a thousand milligrams. So now you'll have 1000 milligram over 10,000 ml and your final answer would be one tenth milligram per ml. Okay. Lastly, let's look at how to convert grams per liter to milligram per milliliter. Let's look at this example. Convert one gram per 250 ml to milligram per ml. Bottom number is already in ml. We need to convert the top number, which is in gram, to milligram. So one gram equals 1,000 milligram. Now we have 1,000 milligrams over 250 ml. And when you divide them, your final answer will be 4 milligrams per ml. And that's your final answer. Let me know what other topics you would like to see in the comments. And before you head out, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded videos. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.